In this video, I'm going to show you how to automatically spell check in Excel. I normally have topics that I worked on for my customers, but this is something that I've worked on for myself. Um, I can spell, but I'm a lousy typist. And so I quite often get errors in my work when I'm doing like titles and that type of things and labels on my sheets. So I wanted to figure out some way of catching it before it was too late. And I sent it off to the customer and they thought that I was, um, didn't know what I was doing. So here, here, let's go the two different ways. So, so here you are typing through your sheet. And so you put today and that seems fine. And then you go, um, is, and then you go tab and then you go bad. And I will spell it with two V's. Now, when I press tab on this one, it's going to bring me up the spell chart. It's going to say, do you really want to spell it with two D's? Now, um, the problem with this one is this is handy because it, you can say, oh, yeah, I, I only want, meant to put one D on that one. But I'm going to ignore this. And so then I'm going to put in um, uh, day. And then I'm going to see now when I type in another word, it's always going to come back. It doesn't let you ignore it. So let's go ignore all and see if that works. Um, later, still come back, comes back up with the, the spelling that you didn't fix. So let me show you, first of all, how I did this. Um, and so if I right click on the on the sheet to bring up the sheet code, I said private sub change value. So whatever you enter, it's going to bring it up. And then I've called my first call spell check. And it's basically just one line. It says active sheet, so whatever sheet you're working on, cell spell check. And that what bring, brings up the, um, the, the checkbox to say that this is not really how you spell this. How would you like to spell it? The only problem with that is, like I say, if you have a particular word that is possibly um, a, a client's name for a special item or something else, it won't be in there and it's going to drive you nuts by coming up all the time. Now, there's the other option, which is the second one, which is um, uh, what would I call it instead of calling it spell check, I've called it selected. And so it's just going to come up with the active uh, spell check, the word with on in the active cell. So with active cell, if application spell check word active cell value equals false, then active cell font color turn red. So it's going to turn the let the words red that are spelt wrong. And so it's not going to keep going back to there. But this is also a little bit annoying. So now I've cut, I'm going to turn off, I'm going to comment out my spell check and I'm going to call my selected cell. And so, um, so I'll put in, um, today spelt right. And now if I want to put in, um, bad, but I want to stay on the cell. So this is what the, a little bit annoying part is, is to go B A D D and I'd like to stay on the cell. So to press enter and stay on the cell, you press, you press control shift enter and now what it's done is it's changed the um the word uh bad to red being that it's misspelled now this is kind of handy but it's a little bit annoying to press control shift enter every time you have to press enter and even after you've corrected the bad it doesn't go back to being black so there's drawbacks to each case, but those are the two ways that I've found that you can automatically spell check in Excel. I will, of course, include the code in the description of my video. Please subscribe.